Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support and Happy New Year as we get ready to ring in 2023. If you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, love, career, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. So you'll just have to come back to see what that's all about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Leo? Messages for Leo, please. <clears throat> all right, we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. You have the hanged man, change of heart, surrender to win. Page of Cups, the Three of Cups, Justice, the Eight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Death. And I almost said death up here. Pardon me on that uh, voice crack. I, I almost said death here. I felt like I knew it was coming. There's some kind of big transformation happening here, especially with the Hanged Man. There's going to be a change of heart. Now, some of you do have reconciliation here. But, and I feel like somebody's a bit dismissive of it. It's like it, they're looking for this wow factor. Now, if it's something to do with work too, though, you have nice aspects to move on into a new job where I feel like you're going to garner a lot more respect or if you've been waiting on money, a decision with money with justice and the king of uh, pentacles, you've got that coming in too. But I feel like they're telling you there's something about this four of cups that really draws me. Not to settle for less. I would never encourage anyone here to start aiming for low targets because the problem with that is you will hit it and then you'll go oh my god how did I get here so with this uh hangman energy here this illumination it's infinite manifestation this illumination of the crown is deep spirituality but in the more mundane sense it really is being in the sort of easygoing place letting go of things so um <clears throat> in the um in the in the order of the cards it goes like this now, they're not quite in the right order, but look, we have 78 cards here. Be, um, yeah, Justice the Hangman and then Death. This is the exact order, you guys. So look, I mean, there's something important here, all right? They're telling you, you've already set the intentions with Justice. You've already set it out there. Your job now is to be release the resistance, be in that energy of the Hangman, that knowing that the Hangman has, and then allow for Death to come in and completely transform the situation, that's what they're, that's the, that's the nitty gritty of this whole reading. That's a down and dirty message right here. So it's very important when you start seeing cards coming into, into play like that, even if they're not completely right next to each other. Again, this is, um, to have three cards in the same, in the order out of 78 come into one reading is big. So with this too, for some of you, if you're saying, you know what, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to be easy going about it. It's a new job I'm looking for. Or again, if there's a decision, I feel like for some of you, it's going to be important. I get a bit of like Queen of Swords, King of Swords, following up and writing with something if you're still waiting. But again, it's just being in this more than anything else, sort of that easygoing energy. So with the Hangman too, surrender to win like we talked about. It's wisdom though that you gain from this. So with this too, you're going to find that you're you going to have support that comes in. Now in a relationship, you've got an engagement here. So for some of you too, if it's a relationship that you're looking for, do this, start getting into this where you're just having fun in the meantime. You're not worried about it. You're not stressed about it. You're, this is just a rallying point for you to move forward because you do have somebody who comes in here. Some of you, it is next. And if it seems like a chance encounter, I'm already going to tell you that it's not. Um, but I do feel like with that four of cups, it feels more like it's your energy, Leo. Like you may play hard to get. I'd say go for it. It's not about playing games as much as you're saying, look, I want to see proof here. All right. Okay. I want to see action, not just words. Show me, don't tell me. And so especially if you're attracting somebody who's like this, a bit shy, but spontaneous. And with this page of cups though, 
for some of you in terms of social engagements, this is great. This is an energy of having fun, of being out there, of being light, of being easy. I get it with the hangman too. So if you're single and you're saying, no, it's not next, this coupled with the hangman is bringing in three of cups. It's all connected. That easygoing energy along with this is going to allow you to have that fun, uplifted environment around you. And so it's an offer though. There's a message here. That's why he's here. So for some of you too, in terms of a work transition, um, I do feel like you're going to have a shift there too, especially with the Eight of Cups moving on to your higher purpose. So with the Three of Cups, multiplication, growth, development, it is an, a card of celebration. So like I said, those of you who have plans, or even if you have a small gathering, a small get-together, I just feel like it fills your bucket, okay? Remember that oh, there was a book about that, Bucket Fillers, a little kid's book. I don't know where I came up with that, but anyway, it's going to fill your cup. How about that? Your chalice with love. And so somebody here, I do feel like you've got nice aspects for what feels like a smaller gathering, getting together, just having fun. Maybe you're going to do some vision boards. I'd say go for it. I don't necessarily have cards in this reading that I would suggest. I always like the sun and any vision board and, of course, the world. Um, but with this this Three of Cups, again, I feel like you're going to be surrounded by people who are uplifters, who are fun. This is not dragging somebody out of the dumps. It's really being with people who have a vision and, and excitement about life. Now, those of you, too, if you're in a relationship, things keep moving along strong. Those of you that are single, your chances uh, peak here, not peak. Your, ch your chances are nice for meeting somebody sooner than later. But I even get March for somebody, okay? And that's not that far away, but it gives you a little bit of time to invest in yourself, to enjoy your own company, and be ready for that encounter because there is a union coming in. Now, Justice, the scales of Libra. I guess I didn't mention this. You have Libra, Scorpio, quite a bit of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you do have Earth here too, but with this um, this Justice card, there's equilibrium and balance, yes, but this is cause and effect. You're the cause, everything around you is the effect. I also get for somebody, as you go into 2023, getting control and organization, discipline around bills that are going to be coming due. So if you have things, little payments here and there, or they're once a year kinds of things, I see you as taking care of all of that, getting it all ready to go. I see somebody with like a letter holder kind of a looking apparatus where you're just keeping everything very organized. And so what that does for you, that action is going to feel organized, okay? It's like spiritually, you're spiritually organized and it shows up in the physical realm. So know that those of you that have this urge to suddenly get things in order, it's already a, a depiction or an indication that you're spiritually, emotionally, mentally already there. Now you're doing it in the physical space. Now for some of you too, I mentioned there's a decision that gets made that goes in your favor. I do feel like too, there's going to be an open conversation. Those of you that are reconciliation folks, and it may be you that pushes it. Okay. They come back around. And like I said, your expectation put it as high as you want it to be because I do feel like they will they will rise to the occasion, those of you that it's a reconciliation. But ultimately, justice is about having boundaries that don't move. And you've got it with the Four of Cups too. He puts, she puts her foot down, all right? So some of you, if you've said, no, I've needed to do that for a while, I see you as doing it and not going back on that, not getting those boundaries that are impassable and just become a same old cycle again and again. Especially, too, with this Eight of Cups, you're moving on. This is the hero's journey. You've got a new cycle coming in here that drives your purpose forward. It gets you in touch not only with feeling your heart's desires, but receiving them. So in a relationship, too, there's deep, deeper meaning here. So for some of you, it is going to be a time this year, especially, I feel like you're going to bring in real love, a real partnership. And if you're already in something, there's depth. It's you two going together. Even though there's only one person here, I do feel like it's still an indication that you're walking into exactly what your soul has asked for. All right. You're part, you're in this, you're this hero's journey. This is an important card. And so with the King of Pentacles, those of you that the Eight of Cups relates to a new journey on a job front the king of pentacles he has the Midas touch so your ideas are great so those of you too that you start to get this inclination about changing jobs this year here you go you'll walk right into something better others of you though i do feel like with justice if it's related to a house or a living situation 
or money that you've been waiting on, things are going to go in your favor. Now, some of you, I feel like the in terms of moving, if it's a move, it may not, again, be until the spring, but I do feel like you get information or if it's money you're waiting on, you get the money now and that allows you the ability to look and start to make plans because your energy overall is very disciplined. It's not hasty. It's not rash. And especially too, if you say, yeah, I've been a bit impulsive this past year, I see that as changing because there's great transformation here with death. This is about a change. It's new from the old. It is letting go of the past too. So we're letting go. I love the cards that you have here. As you turn into 2023, it's like a rebirth brings right into the new year here. And so you let go of anything old too in terms of resentment or past hurts and relationships. I just don't see you carrying that into something new. And so with this too, you step over the wreckage of the past. If you made some financial errors along the way, I see you as cleaning those up in 2023. If you say, yeah, I let some stuff get out of control. I charged trips and things I probably shouldn't have, but I love the experience. So woo, who cares? You know, I get somebody like saying, I don't regret what I did there, but I know it's time to clean it up. So I feel like you're going to have nice aspects and discipline for that. Um, this four of cups we've dabbled with, fours to our discipline and order. So you're not going to settle for less and hey, don't, you don't need to. The right person, the right job, the right situation is here for you. And so by holding out, I do feel like you get a little bit more. I feel like you get almost the page of cups, three of cups combo. All right. Because we also have three, four here too, which is also important in terms of um, looking at the number alignments in the cards. So <clears throat> And definitely moving into a year of progress, okay? So let's see what else Leo needs to know. All right, messages for Leo, please. Advice for Leo. It's up to you. So I'm telling you, those of you, you're going to have a job offer for some, but others, you have somebody who wants to come back around and I feel like that, again, like I said, or if there's just new people with that Four of Cups, you'll wait until the right one's here. Improving health, so improvements all the way around, I'd say. You've got romance showing up, especially with that Page and Three of Cups within the next few months. So for some of you, what I feel like is going to happen is you're going to get your energy better regulated. And that's going to help you, like I said, to actually make the move into the springtime. Don't stop because you're on the right path, Leo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.